In this video, I'll show you what I did to completely get rid of my wrist pain. Those of us who use the Greenland paddle have the potential to make paddling very easy on the wrist. But unfortunately, I see a lot of paddlers who hold the paddle too tight, and that can cause a lot of pain. The Greenland paddle doesn't need to be held with a tight grip. You barely have to hold on to it, and it just finds its own angle. Before I show you how to avoid wrist pain, let me show you how I discovered it. I was on a 10 day paddling journey, paddling about 50 kilometers a day. And just a few days into the adventure, my left wrist began to throb with unbearable pain. I thought I might have to stop the trip. Strangely, my right wrist felt perfectly fine. I couldn't help but wonder, what am I doing differently with my left wrist? So I investigated. By making a simple adjustment, I was able to continue my journey. And within days, the pain vanished completely. And I never had to stop to rest. What I noticed was that on both sides, I was releasing my fingers when pushing. The critical difference, however, was that on the left side, I wasn't releasing the thumb when I was pulling the paddle. When you hold the paddle too tight, it puts a little bit of band in your wrist with every stroke. And after a day of paddling, that little bit of stress can easily turn into debilitating pain. So be mindful to hold the paddle loosely and keep your wrist healthy so you can keep enjoying your adventures into the wild. All it takes is pulling with your fingers and pushing with the palm of your hand while releasing the fingers. If you would like to get my complete checklist to generate a powerful four stroke with the Greenland paddle, click the link in the description below. I hope this video helps you avoid wrist pain and enjoy your adventures and thanks for watching.